Let's take a look at how to evaluate sine of 15 degrees. This is going to be an example of using the sum or difference formulas, and we can also do it using the half angle formula. I'm going to show you both ways. So 15 degrees is not one of the angles we've memorized from our unit circle, but it is closely related to angles that we do know. In fact, 15 degrees could be written as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So instead of writing sine of 15 degrees, I could write sine of the quantity 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. Alright, now if I could figure out some way to evaluate this expression in terms of sine of 45 degrees and sine of 30 degrees, I'd be done. Now you may remember that you can't just distribute the sine, there's no such thing. So instead we need to look up our our difference formula. Right? This is a difference formula for sine. And if you remember, that is, let me just write it down here. If I have sine of alpha minus beta, that is equal to sine of the first angle, sine of alpha, times cosine of the second angle, minus sine of the second angle, sine of beta, times cosine of the first angle. All right, so if I go here and use that, here my alpha is 45 and the beta is 30. So this becomes sine of 45 degrees times cosine of 30 degrees minus, well, we could write cosine first, cosine of 45 degrees times sine of 30 degrees. Now, the advantage to this is now we have four expressions, more expressions, but each of them we should be able to evaluate using the unit circle. So sine of 45 degrees we know is the square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. Minus stays a minus. And then cosine of 45 degrees, that's the square root of 2 over 2. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half and now we've evaluated sine of 15 degrees. We could simplify this a little if you like. This becomes the square root of 6 divided by 4 minus the square root of 2 divided by 4. So we could simplify that to be the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2, can't do anything more with that, all divided by 4. Okay, and there's your answer. Now, I said there's another way to do this as well. Let me just move this over a little bit. Yeah, uh, what we could do instead of using the difference formula, we could write sine of 15 degrees as 15 degrees as half an angle we know. Because if we doubled 15 degrees, we would get 30. So this is the same as sine of 30 degrees divided by 2. And just like there's a formula for sine of the difference of two angles, there's a formula for sine of alpha over 2. Sine of alpha over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of alpha all over 2. And in this case, our alpha is 30 degrees. Alpha over 2, 30 over 2 is 15 degrees. So if we go through here, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of 30 degrees divided by 2. Now, should it be plus or should it be minus? Well, we're looking for sine of 15 degrees 15 degrees is in the first quadrant, and sine is positive. So it's, it's not the minus, it is actually the plus. So we get the square root of 1 minus cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2, and then divided by 2. Again, we could simplify this a little bit more. We could write this 1 as 2 over 2, and then we would get the square root of square root here, square root of one half minus sorry, two halves minus square root of three over two. So that would be two 
2 minus the square root of 3 all over 2 and all over 2 again gives us over 4 and we could get rid of that um, 4 in the square root we could make that all over 2 so this could be rewritten as the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2 outside of the square root so here we have two answers to sine of 15 degrees they look different but they're exactly the same if you were to plug them into a calculator you get exactly the same decimal approximation um, so there are two ways to evaluate sine of 15 degrees. This works for many other angles around the unit circle that you haven't memorized. Um, 15 degrees, any multiple of 15 degrees, also 22 and a half degrees, because that's half of 45 degrees. All right, well, uh, I hope this has helped, and thanks for watching.